<coughs> Here in Sri Bhagavatam, um, welcome to the um, Senate. <coughs> I'll try to be as brief as I can and go through all of the bills in the agenda. First on Senate Bill number. Siminti got said. Okay. <coughs> First up, Senate Bill number 2131, and I'm converting the Don Carlos Polytechnic College into a state college to be known as Don Carlos Polytechnic State University. <coughs> this was earlier approved by the Senate while awaiting the House counterpart. Now the House Bill is here. House Bill number 8730 and House Bill number. No. Sorry. Ano to? Senate Bill number 2131, um, Mr. Sabate, as I understand, the House is already in the process of drafting its committee report contained in House Bill num um, covering House Bill number 7473. Yeah, as well, uh, good morning. So I presume that we appear here, we don't have to wait bill. Yes, uh, I understand. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chair. Um, as far as Senate Bill 2131 is concerned, we do not have um, uh, significant uh, changes. It's just um, the addition of a provision for compliance to CHED requirements. We have a standard provision, Tom Yes, sir. We have a, we'll follow the usual standard yes, provision sir. we have on conversion. And okay. um, as a note, uh, Mr. Chair, there are some differences between the House, bill ver House version and the Senate version. Um, if they want it passed, wala na kami bike kami, wala kami para kung magbike kami, kami mili tayo ng version. Anyway, committee secretary is directed to um, Senate Bill number two one three one is hereby approved, given the acquiescence of Chad, and um, given that the observations of Chad have in the past been um, adopted by the committee. Committee secretary is directed to prepare the corresponding committee report, and as soon as Sen House Bill number seven four seven three is transmitted to the Senate for the same to be reported out in plenary. Sorted. House Bill number 8730, an act converting Camarino Sur Polytechnic College in Nabwa, province of Kansu, into a state university to be known as the Polytechnic University of Bicol. Um, we have reps from CSPC. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Honorable Chair, and the Honorable Daddy. Thank you so much for this privilege of being invited. And thank you for the support. The Kamarinizu Polytechnic College is 35 years as of June, and we have done so much effort to ensure that as a state college, it may be worthy to become Polytechnic State University of Bicol. And we assure you, good senator, that we are really providing quality and excellent education and service. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chad. For House 8730, Mr. Chair, we suggest that uh, we include a state in the name of Polytechnic, uh, to be known as Polytechnic State University of Bicol, so that it, so that the acronym will not be. <laughs> and really, it is a state university. And uh, Polytechnic State, ah. South Bill, na kalagay. South Bill po. Sa title, nakalagay, Polytechnic State. Sa title, oh. Ah, okay. Nababasa ko yung sa harap ko. Eh. Sige pa. Kasi yung version namin, Mel. Mm. <laughs> anyway, so, on the provided that the parents will uh, fully comply with the requirements for university, Chad will have no the uh, objection. The usual provision without a period. Yes, sir. Without a period. And the uh, suggestion this time, Mr. Chair, is to provide for the operational definition of the requirements so that it would not be a broad... Um, definition as regards how many academic degrees, just a suggestion this time, Mr. Chair, because they are asking. Do we need to make other things that we can convert? Parang naman po, sir. 
It's just the operational definition of the recall. Kayo naman na nagsaset nun, di ba? Yes, sir. Oh, ayun yun ang secret. Pwede nyo dagdagan, pwede nyo bawasan. Okay, noted, Mr. Ba- Chair. <laughs> no, but I have a question. Sorry, uh, from Bicol 2. But inaangkin niyo yung Bicol? Why is it Polytechnic State University of Bicol and not of Kamsor? Why Bicol? Are there no other Polytechnic Universities in Bicol? Yeah, we're the only Polytechnic University in Bicol, sir. So, wala nang ibang pwede maging? Yeah. Ano? Only CSPC to become Polytechnic State. <laughs> 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 no, again, why? Yes. Usually, usually, when a, when a, when a, when something is converted, you take the name of the province, not the region. Why the region in this case? We wanted a wider school, and that would mean being able to serve not only Camarines Sur, but Bicol and the right. So, kung BU na nasa Albay, inangkin na ng Albay ang Bicol University, ang Kamsur inaangkin ng Polytechnic, University sa Bicol, ano na naiwan sa amin? TESDA. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> no, seriously. So, why? Because you wanted a broader, but doesn't matter. Bicol University is the same. But at least, Camarillo uh, Sur Polytechnic uh, College is the only polytechnic supposed to be university in Bicol. No, there is no other university in Bicol other than Bicol University. But how many polytechnic colleges are there in Bicol? We're the only one, sir. Really? Chad, are there any <coughs> other polytechnic colleges? Colleges are not university in Bicol. By name as a polytechnic college, uh, Mr. Chair, but there are also other um, state colleges that offer similar programs as to a, poly- uh, to a polytechnic uh, college such as the Bicol State of Applied Science and Technology. San I'm not sure of the address. <laughs> it's in Naga City, sir. Naga City. 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 So, uh, as regards to the name, it's not polytechnic college, but there are other state colleges also offer similar programs to a polytechnic. There will be no objection on the part said. House Bill number 8730 is hereby approved. Subject to the usual provisions, the committee inserts in so far as compliance requirements is concerned as well as the removal of the period to comply. In other words, ma'am, you will remain as what you are until and unless you comply. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Passed so much so that once you comply, meaning once said gives the green light, then you will be a university. Wag mo na kayo magpalit ng letter red and red. Ah, yes, sir. Just my balance, sir. Just my balance. Sir, you're Thank you. Good morning. Okay. House Bill number 8731, converting Gimara State College in the province of Gimara to be known as a state university, Gimara State University in appropriating funds. Um, gusto mo mabilis ta sa'yo nalang same comment kumparehas nung kanina? Yes sir, same comment. Same order then, in so far as House Bill number 8731 is concerned, it's approved and ComSec is directed to prepare the corresponding committee report in accordance and in line with the standard committee report being prepared by the committee in so far as conversion bills are concerned. Um, Deped? Yes. Pwede ba sabay-sabay na rin natin ito? Chair will take up items number B4 up to B15. All on the establishment of high schools, national high schools, including yours, Ricky, House Bill number 8684. So namely, House Bill number 8735, 8096, 8736, 8683, 8684. Um, 8684, and uh, 5378. 8212-8187, 5948-5947, 5371-398. Ang agad Good morning, Your Honor. Ms. Basco. Yes, sir. We have no objection, Your Honor. And we support the passage of the mentioned bills, Your Honor. Thank there you. be no objection on the part of the Fed. Committee hereby approves House Bill number 8735, The committee secretary is directed to prepare the corresponding committee report. Thank you. Sorry. Gusto mo ba bang salita pala? Hindi na. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Congressman Sandoval is recognized. 
Thank you, Senator uh, Escudero. I will thank the committee for uh, approving our uh, the independence of two separate uh, high schools in Malabon, uh, namely Malabon National High School, Concepcion Technical Vocational Annex in Barangay Concepcion, and Tenejaros National High School, Acacia Annex in uh, Barangay Acacia, City of Malabon. Uh, Mr. Senator, I would like to present to you our uh, superintendent in the City of Malabon, Ma'am. Mom Helen Grace Go is here. And uh, oh, <laughs> Shempre, this is a big day for us, uh, Mr. Senator, and also the principals of high schools in Malabon, uh, Mom Digulan, uh, Mr. Abude, and, the, uh, uh, and our other principals. Uh, we thank you for approving this bill on committee level. Maraming salamat po. For the information of the good congressman, kaya kami nagmamadali, maminahabol namin dahil mag adjourn na kami next week. But worst case would be we would be able to do the third reading by the time before we adjourn. Thank you. Sa session namin in June because we will be still resuming sessions, di ba? Yes. After elections. So hindi man to umabot on third reading now. We'll make sure to do second before we adjourn um, in Mr. next Chair. week. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Good morning po, uh, President Abanto, Camarines North State College. Camarines? Camarines North State College. The name of our college was uh, inadvertently omitted in the list. Camarines North State College, uh, House Bill sponsored by our Congressman Renato Unico, Jr. The, your bill has not yet been referred to us, sir. It's not in our agenda. It was not omitted. It was supposed to be referred and read on the floor last night, but it was not read. So unfortunately, oh. we cannot take it up oh, okay. because we don't have jurisdiction over it. But never fret and do not fret. There are three bills that were not referred to us last night. We will be conducting another hearing next week para makahabol pa rin kayo. Okay. Sayang naman kasi. Thank you, po. Unless tama rin po ako o <laughs> kung ano mga rason mo. Hindi, <laughs> biro lang po yun. Biro lang. Uh. <laughs> okay, thank you, Ricky. Prime Islam ako. Proceeding. Item number 16. Anak declaring, declaring Pascual Village in the city of San Fernando, province of Bampanga, national treasure and cultural heritage in the property of public domain. Do we have any resource persons on this bill? No? Mm -hmm. uh, Chair Hibai the first, um, House Bill number 8725, because there is no interested party to pursue this bill, and also because of the Chair's reservation, because as I understand, this has already been sold to a private entity, and they are simply trying to question through recession the sale. Unfortunately, under the Constitution, for the record, Congress cannot pass a law um, abridging the obligation of contracts. So until and unless that contract is declared null and void, Congress cannot pass a law effectively um, abrogating the contract entered into between two private individuals, or even public and private individuals. Sorted. House Bill number 8370, an act requiring state universities and colleges to prepare and implement a land use plan filed by the Honorable Batokabe. Can you just approve this in honor of Congressman Batokabe? And can you just not say anything anymore aside from saying yes? Yes, please. Just an insertion of the word new in the last sentence of paragraph 3 so that there will be no new infrastructure project shall be approved. That's the one. And then we suggest for a official definition of the infrastructure project, sir. Can you define it now? Uh, in executive order, order with cement and steel? <laughs> Not the church. Oh, infrastructure. <laughs> yes, sir. Just to uh, um, the executive order number 380 of 1989 defines uh, infrastructure so that. Um, we use that definition? Yes, sir. Okay. That's our suggestion, sir. ComSec is directed to, uh, to include. Wag na natin gamitin yung salitang insert. Include na lang. Yes, sir. Ched ka pa naman. To include, um, as part of the committee's amendments, the proposal, proposed inclusion of the word new in the relevant section, as well as the definition of infrastructure. That being said, committee hereby approves House Bill number 8370, and committee secretary is directed to prepare the responding committee report amending House Bill number 8370. So ordered. 
Number 18, House Bill number 8654, taken in conjunction with House Senate Bill number 2114 on left arm chairs. Um, do you have data, Ms. Basco, on this? Ilang nakalimote? No, because all arm chairs right now, correct me if I'm wrong, are right-handed. Now, if you will do left-handed, what's the ratio and proportion, and how will you distribute this? Paano niyo malalaman kung ilan ang kalawete sa kada school, ang kada elementary school, sa kada barangay? Um, currently, Your Honor, we have no, uh, I, I don't have the data with me. I, I will still have to check with the concerned office whether they have the data for number of students with left-handed. But we have a manual for our infrastructure or for cl classroom uh, setup. We provide um, every 44, 45 Every 45 um, chairs, we allot two uh, armchairs with left-handed. So that's about 4%? Yes, sir, 4%. Chair would like to recognize the presence of Congresswoman Chiki. Ma'am, would you like to say something? Can you answer the, question, the query, ma'am, of the chair? What's the percentage of right to left so that when we distribute, and is that percentage prevalent in almost all? Because we might end up with right-handed students using left handed armchairs if the proportion is not correct or if the distribution is not correct. Ma'am, please. Mr. Chairman, it's very much for the correction and accommodating our request to, uh, to see our team in your final committee hearing. To the question, uh, you have one more. Just this one, I'm glad that uh, I'm here today. I want to thank also Senator Sanyangala for thanking this bill. To the question, I will uh, I will be doing and just to bring the point, we will ask a show of hands to let others in the room today. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just take it from the, just around the table, that's already 10%. We have three already sitting around the table, and we don't have 30 in the panel. But it's, uh, and uh, we can put many, many uh, sources, uh, many, many, uh, I, I cannot give you uh, uh, one single one because there are just many, uh, um, sources or a lot of uh, advocates for left handers that have uh, websites that uh, are for left handers and just really uh, all across and studies that have been made globally, they consistently have been proven that 10% of the world population is left handed. And this is uh, a really good situation for the fact that there is a time when uh, children are going to be the right hand, but time and again, and in every informal. Uh, survey that I have done is always proven as such. And uh, if I may, since I have the floor, let me just uh, quickly address the point that I are already putting out in your mind. So I don't know why I did this alone. I think it's because of what uh, uh, Ms. Baxter has already um, mentioned. The DEPF, which only covers public elementary schools, only uh, asks for 5%, uh, which is uh, really not enough. If we take a look at the numbers right now, and again, this is the only thing that we want to do in public schools. We want to be able to uh, address the needs of all school uh, children, all left handers. So that includes kids in uh, private schools, elementary, high school, and college, because studies also have shown that this is a intuitive also, but if you have to protect yourself and uh, accommodate a left handed arm chair and you are left handed, and left -handed it will uh, slow your time writing, it will not give you uh, possibly back. Shoulder pains, etc., and it is just a um, uh, disadvantage unnecessarily for all the partners. Of course, as you mentioned also, that the push here is to allow for a neutral type desks. That is really what is uh, most ideal, but since uh, we are not uh, practicing that yet, we uh, would like to really push this for the benefit of the uh, million left handers in, in the county. And uh, one last point, and uh, this is also a question uh, to the uh, budget. Or people are wondering how uh, that's the fundamental one. This is actually just to, to my belief, a uh, matter of procurement. It's when you uh, to procure desks for the uh, for the needy the classroom, which is um, make sure that that does not uh, give it to the family. This is where I believe this is a uh, very basic, a very seemingly trivial bill, uh, but really it addresses a large uh, population. It doesn't uh, really, uh, I guess, it, it, there is not much of a, uh, a problem when it comes to budgetary considerations because it does just uh, uh, impact on the, the procurement process of the method. And I am uh, confident, hoping, <laughs> for the approval of the panel. Thank you. Um, thank you.
thank you, um, Congressman Ra. Um, I, I have a question on time and motion. If it's going to be 10 percent, what if there are 50 students and in that class, wala namang kaliwate? So yung kanan, papagamitin mo ng kaliwa dahil minandate natin. Just in, to the time and motion natin to, ha? Kasi unfair naman talaga na right-handed desk ang gamitin ng left-hander. Pero unfair din naman na left-handed desk ang gamitin ng right-hander dahil 10% mo across the board. Um, how do you address that issue? Meaning if it's a straightforward 10%, it may be even 20% in some, some classes might not have any. How will you address that? Now the right-hander will use a left-handed desk. Ma'am, but nanggaling tayo sa left, what do you call it, neutral desk? What do you call it, ma'am? Neutral desk, yung wala yung nasa harap mo lang, which is ideal. Nalala mo yung parang bench na may kahoy, yung ganun, doon naman tayo nagsimula eh. Bumulik tayo doon sa plastic, pumunta tayo sa plastic eh. Pero pwede rin naman plastic yun eh. Don't you want to shift there? Because, again, ah, it's unfair to if it's straightforward 10% and a right-handed student will use a left-handed desk. Because you don't know. Unless you're going to tell me you, you have to provide an additional 10% on top of or an additional 5% on top of. So if it's a class of 40, you have to provide four left-handed desks. On top of, ah. Para nandun lang siya. Or do you want to mandate in the law that that has to be provided for for left-handed students. Mr. Chair, I would like our panel, our representative from the Western United States, we can also think about it in terms of every time left-handers have had to uh, uh, put up with a right, right arm uh, chair. So it is not going to be possible really for a right-hander to use a left hand arm chair. They will just uh, perhaps uh, realize how difficult it has been for the left-handers all this time. It's just one way of looking at it too. But again, the way it's placed in, um, in the field, we are looking for appropriate um, desks for left-handers. So it is not necessarily the same kind of design that we have, but if you are going to provide a typical arm chair for left-handers, then that is when we require that we have the same type of uh, uh, design that is appropriate for the left-handers as well. Um, I agree, ma'am. I agree with you that it's difficult for left-handers. But again, it does, not, it does not solve the problem if Again, how will you implement this law? And so far as the deputy is concerned, we're avoiding a situation where left-handers will use a right-hand desk. And in the end, it, we might be providing left-hand desks for right-handed students. If you think of it forward, how can we do So, totoo lang, yung grade 1 na kaliwete, kaliwete pa rin naman yan hanggang college niya eh. Or at least, habang nasa elementary siya, pwede naman yung bitbitin yung desk na yun eh. Now, it's the same size anyway. So, logistically, you can provide for it if you do it that way. Kasi tapos yung grade 1 na kaliwete, pareho naman ng armchair ng grade 1 at grade 6, di ba? Literally, bitbit niya na yun. Diba? The transfer is another room, grade 2 na siya. So, ang beginning point nyo palagi is grade 1 and the existing ones. Iwan na yun doon. But my problem is we might be solving one problem and creating another one. Although the right-handers have had it their way the longest time, but still, mali pa rin eh. So, how will you do it? Um, sir, currently we are doing the four percent, which is two for a number of uh, forty-five uh, students. We have two armchairs for no that. problem. I say you're, you're just getting by. Eh. Yes, sir. Meaning that in Gawi, two percent we placate our conscience and that's it. Ten mm -hmm. percent might even not be enough. Yes, sir. Why can't it be exact? Meaning, di ba? 
For example, I'm thinking, why can't we require that DepEd provide appropriate desks for them? Or why don't we provide in the law, for example, for DepEd to provide a, what do you call it, man? A neutral desk and until such time for them to provide for left-handers in the transition. Mr. Chair, I'm definitely for that, except I'm just worried about the, again, the, uh, the matter of uh, budget, because this will require building new neutral desks with uh, classrooms that already have the, the um, chairs. But, of course, that's the ideal uh, situation, because then we don't have to worry about who uses what. And there are, I, I believe the right hand have different styles of writing as well, so we have to accommodate that. If I may suggest, is that when you screw the children, all of them have to go through some kind of orientation or some kind of entrance uh, uh, procedure, especially in the, in, in the early years. You can tell right away who are left handed. So if you want to, uh, to be more exact, you can already survey or uh, at the screening take note that you are left handed. In fact, that could be part of the uh, application process in the Tennessee chair. You just ask, it's just not, uh, they just pick right or left when they, when they do their applications. Beginning grade one, because the desk niya can be his or hers already until grade six, mm. technically. The desk niya na first year high school can be his or her until grade 12. My concern here is, Mr. Chair, sorry to interrupt, but I just don't want to go back on the budget because I wanted to uh, just uh, be clear that this is a much needed uh, uh, legislation that should be able to pass quickly because it's not going to cost us anything. And that it and so that's why we're trying to really help you out in thinking of how we will best be able to uh, implement this. Is that possible? To just ask, uh, ask that question, to add it to your questionnaires, your standard questionnaires, if it may be male, left-handed, right-handed. Uh, yes, yes, Your Honor. The additional um, information can be added to the uh, either the enrollment forms or even the school health ca can include it in their uh, various forms that they ask the children to sign up. How are you fixed on the percentage? Because DepEd orders shares every year. I'm worried guys, we might be creating another problem for right-handed uh, right students using left arm chairs. We can do the percentage now, and then let's see, but one time. Then let DepEd decide once they have the data if, they have, if it's filled out in the forms. But it can't be every year. Or if you want, even total students in DepEd? <coughs> Parliamentary, how many? For for, pri for private and public, it's uh, 13, 13 for um, 12, 12.2. 12? 12? Yes, sir. Yes, so 10% is 1.2? How many armchairs do you order a year? Ma'am, do you have that study that says 10 percent, or is it? Like I said, I, I can quote the internet brief, but <coughs> in many different websites, and, and like I said, just uh, practically, uh, anytime I take a survey, and I will challenge you to do the same, Mr. Chair. You just put together a number of people, and inevitably, at least 10 percent, if not more, will be left-handed. So it's just something that is uh, almost, I guess, universally accepted. So it's a safe assumption? I would say. No, it's a conservative assumption pala? It is a conservative assumption. Ma'am. Uh, Your Honor, for the total number of uh, sets, or for two seaters, are 30,000? Two seaters? Yes, Your Honor. Ma'am, yung two-seater nyo, yung two-seater nyo, neutral na yun, di ba? Yes, Your Honor. We're talking about the armchairs. 
the two seaters are already neutral. What if we mandate that they go to a neutral desk and provide for a transition and in the meantime ask them to provide for left handed until it is all neutral? Meaning it's a sunset, there's a sunset provision somewhere. I'm definitely amenable to that, and I think it would benefit all students. I think neutral armchairs are best for all students. And How do we mandate neutral armchairs, provide for a transition, a transition period, and in the meantime, so it's in the interest of the school to provide neutral armchairs immediately, otherwise they have to do left their left hand armchair, left arm, left hand armchairs. Okay? Ma'am. Sir, we will still confirm with the with our bosses regarding. Wala na kayo pinadalito pag gumawa kayo o ano yan pag hindi hindi rin otherwise sila ay require ko magpunta dito. Kaya nga okay lang na nandito kayo eh. Di ba? Okay sir. As long as there is a transition transitory provision. How long? If you're ordering 30,000 it's a total of 60,000 desks. Di ba? 60,000 desks at 12 million that's approximately what? 12 million is 1.2, 10%. 5% is 600,000. Utang na 0.5% per year? No, yun yung double. Yun yung, yun yung neutral. But, but how, many, how many chairs do you order a year? You must order more. You must be ordering more. Mr. Chair, may I just point out that also uh, the bill also requires that um, the high school and uh, and college and even uh, like uh, uh, TESDA and all private institutions, anybody who uh, who considers themselves a uh, educational institution, uh, sh should be covered by this law because we don't want to um, discriminate against those who are not in the public school system. So, would it include that? Yes. Would it include that, ma'am? Uh, I'm sorry. Development Academy of the Philippines. Would it include that? Ah, because they are a yes, diba? They hold, they conduct seminars and hold and offer courses. Ah, well, that's an another post, na yon, Mr. Chair. No, hindi covered yon. Postgraduate is not covered. Uh, well, it's not explicitly in the bill. I don't need to. Siguro naman at that level. Hindi na, Mr. Chair, because we are... Hirap magturo ng matanda kaysa <laughs> kung paano magsulat ng kanan kung kaliwa siya. Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. Um, we agree with the transitory provision. Um, is it okay that DepEd will determine the number of years for us to transition into the neutral... No, um, among the RD it's 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 your it'll be your loss. In the meantime that you haven't, you have to provide left handed arm chairs. Yes, we all we all So doubly gastos kay dun eh. So in the meantime that you haven't so you have to number number one you have to comply with left handed arm chairs. And number two, you have to go towards a desk uh, a neutral desk that can accommodate both left and right handed people. Can can we submit within this week or on the number of years? The transition. The transition. Yes. Sir. Hmm? We hope so. But can I just stress the point that the uh, chair has made? In the meantime, we are insisting that the left-handed students be accommodated by way of left-handed archers. Shouldn't we apply that to the best agree? Because left-handed archers don't cost more than right-handed archers. It's just a matter of ordering the the right amount. But ma'am, if yes, they're yeah. ordering already now 30,000 neutral oh. desks, then can't that be used by the left-handed students? Oh, absolutely, yes. So In fact, I like that, sir, that is really ideal. But that is your, like the other good chairman said, it is to your um, advantage to act more swiftly so that you don't have to worry about the left-handed, uh, right-handed armchairs. And the neutral armchairs are probably more, are steadier anyway and will last longer and will be better for It may for not them. just have the same attractive title, but if you require um, neutral desks, in fact, your compliance to the left-handed armchairs can be your neutral desks for two which the teacher will simply assign to left-handed students. 
So you hit two birds with one stone. Ba? Okay. So in the meantime, yung compliance nyo, give us the period. Give us the period for the compliance of the neutral desks. Pero immediate compliance yung as soon as possible compliance yung left-handed or the neutral desks to be used by left-handed students. We'll clarify that in the bill. Ma'am, Chiki, any other comments? We'll, we'll just amend it along those lines. In other words, I'll, read, I'll, I'll, I'll say it again. Requiring all public and private educational institutions to provide neutral desks in whatever shape, size, or form. We won't define it anymore here, meaning it can be a desk. Parang sa science lab, di ba? In desk lang. Ano sa Basta, yes, I just leave it at appropriate. I think that should be fine. Yeah. Yes, and in the meantime, for them to comply with um, left-handed armchairs or neutral ones to be used by left-handed students. Subject to style. You okay with that, ma'am? I'm okay with that, Mr. Chair, but this also impacts on the higher ed people, so I hope that tumutunong sila lahat at nangakit. So I hope that we can take that to me that they're all... Ma'am, wala na silang choice dyan. Okay. Wala na silang choice dyan. That's that as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ma'am Shiki. Subject to those proposed amendments and subject to style, committee secretary is directed to immediately prepare the committee report, um, which might affect the title too, but um, and to um, confer with the staff of um, Congresswoman Shiki, so that hopefully whatever the Senate approves will be adopted by the House and a bicam so that we can facilitate its approval. Thank you, Ma'am. Thank you very much, Mr. Chiki. Item F, item F, Senate Bill Number 2125, Labeling and Nutritional Awareness to Post Nutritional Content Information, Food Served in Their Canteens. May canteen ba mga DepEd schools? Dr. Kison pa will answer on this bill. Dr. Kison, may mga canteen ba ang DepEd schools? Uh, may naaga po. Yes, we Will have ako. canteens. Ngayon, kaya ka, ka, nagkukulong na naman ang classroom niyo, nag-require kayo ng feeding room eh. So, yung isang classroom, ginagawa pa ang feeding room, pero wala namang kantit. Ni, hindi kasama sa plano ng DepEd. When you construct a classroom, you don't provide money to construct a canteen. So, where will I put this? I mean, I'm, I'm not aware of any DepEd school, at least in our province, that has a canteen. In fact, we're building one for the first time in our national high school. So, where will I post this, if ever? Or, unless you have a requirement already, Dr. Rizan, ma'am? No, sir. Can we study it further? But as far as I know, DepEd does not allow in its budget. You don't even have a single peso for the building of a canteen. Na, na canteen talaga, na in design is canteen talaga. Because when you, bu when you build a classroom, kasama na ron yung upuan eh. I don't even, I'm not even aware for the past 20 years that DepEd has money to build a canteen. So, yes, kindly look at it, ma'am. Or perhaps you can simply provide for this via regulations instead of a law? Get back to us, ma'am? Patapos na rin kami. Kahit mag-get back kayo, wala na. At least may nagawa. Number 20, declaring September 8th of every year a special non-working, special working holiday to commemorate the Feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Di ba may ganito na tayo, Pamsek? Kailan ba ang nativity? Sino nang akalam? December 8? Hindi, Immaculate Conception yun eh. Iba yung Immaculate Conception sa Nativity. September 8 to eh. Ano nangyari sa Nativity? Pinanganak siya. Hindi ah, December 25 na eh. Di ba yung birthday ni Jesus? Ba't naging... Mama Mary, pinanganak. December 8. Ah, September 8 kasi. December 8 is the Immaculate Conception. September 8, pinanganak siya nine months later, di ba? Correct? Hindi, pinanganak si Mary o si Jesus? Si Mary. Si Mary yung pinanganak eh. Oo, oh, September 8. So, nung pinanganak siya ng September 8, nag-Immaculate Conception sa agad ng December 8? Eh, nung pinanganak siya kasi Immaculate Conception din ang Turing. They said that when she was conceived December 8, parang it was already known that she was going to be the mother of Jesus. She had no sin. Ah, original sin. Oh. Mga hindi nakikinig talaga sa pare, oh. Bakit ko uli gagawin to? <coughs> working holiday pa. Hindi, working lang naman eh. So, okay lang yan. Seven, what? 
7586 saan banda yan? dulo ang harap okay one page lang to eh Sige, working holiday naman eh. Magin na natin. Kung gusto mo magbutuhan tayo dito kung gusto niyo o hindi. O takot kayong may mapunta sa impyano pag hindi kayo bumato. House Bill number 7856 is hereby approved. Comsec is elected to prepare the corresponding committee report and I leave it to plenary to decide on this um, bill. It's ordered. An act establishing safety internet education program. Senate Bill number 2146. In the curriculum of elementary and secondary schools, your comment. Um, your opinion. Um, your Honor, we review our curriculum. We have number of years uh, period. We review our curriculum uh, periodically to update. Uh, so I am uh, We adhere to the wisdom. <laughs> As a policy, the committee does not intend to legislate during my watch. Um, Thank you. Any honor. inclusion or exclusion in the curriculum because DepEd should have a free hand in determining the curriculum, depending on the changing times. Therefore, Senate Bill number 2146 is hereby um, ordered to be sent to the archives. And the author, ca uh, under our rules, the author can revive it in plenary if five senators, right? Yes, sir. Five. Sign that it be reported out. It's ordered. House Bill number 8650, establishing a test the training and assessment. Again, it is the po I think it has the barita. Good morning, Mr. Chair, as well to the other uh, committee members. Again, sir, but ang daming congressman gusto magpatayo ng TESDA na parang akala mo, said, eh, hindi naman kailangan. Uh, maybe it's one of the reasons to to increase the uh, coverage of Tibet uh, in their uh, respected jurisdictions. Then put up a local college. I mean... But why put up, I don't understand it. The former head of TESDA is with us. And yes. according to him, we cannot legislate this, or by practice it has never been legislated. Mm. The creation of TESDA schools, huh? Yes. Because you can easily put up a TESDA school without a law. Why even, yes. why do you want, why do they want a law? Well, Would you know? Uh, in my opinion, it, it may refer to uh, public TESDA training institutions which are governed by the, by the which are uh, administered by the TESDA. So that the, the Ganila, but you can create one there if you want to without a law. Uh, uh, for the private ones, yes. No, you can put up one, uh, can't you? Uh, yes, sir. A TESDA training and assessment center, can you put up one or not? Do you need a law to put up, put, to put up a test the training center? Uh, I believe so, yes. Sir. You do? Yeah. For the, for the private uh, technical training, train, uh, technical vocational institutions, it, it can be established by law or uh, uh, by, by in, order, in accordance with the corporation code. Exactly. Yes. No, but for you to set up a test the training center in an area, do you need a law? Or can you set it up for as long as you have the money? Uh, uh, I, be I believe so, yes, sir. I believe so, yes, too. So why provide for a law? Kailangan nilang yun, kumbinsin yung head nyo na magpatayo dun. Diba? Is there any law establishing a test the training center, to your knowledge? I believe there are laws uh, establishing tra uh, test the training in training centers in uh, certain certain regions and provinces. Are you in a position to cite at least one? Uh, During my watch, I haven't approved any. And I haven't asked your predecessor. Well, I haven't seen on the big guy. So, 
I, there's, I believe there's one uh, in Occidental Mindoro, sir. And when was it established? Uh, Submit it to us, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I won't belabor the point. Um, further consideration of House Bill number 8650 is hereby suspended while awaiting the submission. And um, for the matter, for the ComSec to consult the matter with the office of Senator Joel Villanueva, I was taking a position against it because even if I report it out, he will take a position against it anyway. And to include this in the agenda next week after getting those information. So ordered. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, sir. Hindi, meron pa eh. Itong kay Velasco. House Bill number 8729, an act converting Marinduca State College in the municipality of Bok, province of Marinduca, into the State University. Earlier, the committee had already approved Senate Bill number 1933 and 1940 on September 3, 2018. And the ComSec was instructed to wait for the approval of the House Bill, given that it is a local bill. Now that we are in receipt of the same, committee secretary is hereby directed to prepare the corresponding committee report based on the hearing conducted by the Senate on the two aforementioned Senate bills. So ordered. Same order with respect to House Bill number 8732. Um, same order with respect to House Bill number 7005. In the case of House Bill number 7005, this was approved by the Senate already on December 3, 2018. And so far as House Bill number 7005 is concerned, kindly ask the House if they will adopt the Senate version or if they want to do a paper by come. House Bill number 7785, an act establishing a framework for the selection of national performing arts and companies. Um, let's settle this once and for all. ComSec is directed to prepare the corresponding committee report removing the controversial provisions between um, the NCCA and the CCP meaning to say the perpetuity provisions and the term, let the rules and regulations determine that which, is, which will be between NCCA and CCP anyway. And let's issue the committee report. So ordered. Um, Senate Bill number 2124. May PUP ba dito? Wala. is hereby deferred, and let's schedule it for another hearing next week. Um, can someone come here? Mm -hmm. Kasi PUP to. I think for the record, the basic position of said is there are level three, tama ba? There are level three, there are level three schools, such as MSU, who is not being converted into a national university and PUP is still at level two. So let's address that um, in the next hearing. Namaganda mangaling sa inyo, hindi sa akin. Yeah, we will inform. That's in your letter anyway. Um, House Bill number 8728, an act requiring all graduating elementary, high school, and college students to plant trees. The committee in a similar hearing on Senate Bill number 533 ordered the same to be archived. Same order. In our case, Same order with respect to House Bill 8728. Deped is already doing this and should be left via regulations to be issued by the agency and not by legislation. Senate Bill number 2143, integrating computer science in the curriculum. It is in the curriculum, right? Mm. Ms. Basco, integrating computer science in the curriculum. It is in the curriculum, right? K in the K-12. So number one, it already is in the curriculum. Number two, again, the position of the chair is not to legislate in, um, any subject to be included or excluded in the curriculum, and that should be best left to the discretion and decision of the Department of Education since they review the curriculum regularly anyway. So Senate Bill number 2143 is hereby ordered to be archived and for the author to be so informed. Okay. May silbihin sandwich namin. Hindi kami magsisilbi po ng lunch. Meron ba kayo? Which one? Okay na? Okay na? Ay, sorry, hindi ko kayo binasalita na. Inapprove ko na lang. Okay lang ho. Sign naman yung barong ninyo. Um, no other matters to be taken up?
Uwi mo na yung sandwich, kung hindi mo na ubos. Baon na yan? Ma'am? Ma'am, which one? Ah, sure, ma'am. By the way, sino ba lamang sa Kamsur? Depende kung sino kakampi niyo, no? <laughs> ha? Hindi, sino ang lamang sa Kamsur? Game na... Yeah, join ko muna bago mo kasagutin. Ikaw. <laughs> There being no other matters, um, hearing of the Committee on Education, Culture and Sports is hereby suspended. Thank, Thank you so much. Hereby suspended. Sino lamang? <laughs>